Amazon pays its DSP owners in four ways, vehicle payments, route payments, per package, and a weekly bonus based on performance. Now, how did I turn my DSP into a $10 million business by delivering a bazillion packages to you guys? Kidding, but not really. My DSP business made millions of dollars through a business concept known as vertical integration. Vertical integration is about understanding your supply chain and controlling as much of it as you can. Imagine you're baking cookies. Instead of just buying the ingredients, you own the farm, the mill, and the bakery. That's what I did with my Amazon DSP business. One of the biggest challenges in the Amazon DSP world was having enough vehicles. You see, sometimes your Amazon blue vans need maintenance or repair or if you're a newer DSP, you might not have enough vans to cover as many routes as you would like. Remember, Amazon pays a monthly fee for every vehicle you have on the road. The more vehicles you have to run your routes, the higher your monthly vehicle payments are. So what if a vehicle is out of commission? In the past, what I would do was rent from Uhor or Penske, which was very expensive and it ate into a huge portion of the vehicle payments that Amazon provided me. So to tackle this, I set up my own leasing company and I got a fleet of Sprinter vans. Now I controlled my vehicle supply in a much more profitable way. Having my own fleet of vehicles helped me to maximize my monthly payments from Amazon. And because I was a legal leasing company, I could also rent these vehicles to other DSP owners generating even more profit. Another constraint in the Amazon DSP business was the cost of vehicle maintenance. With 70 plus Sprinter vans on the road every day, 10 hours a day for seven days a week, you can only imagine the wear and tear that can happen to your fleet. As a DSP owner, you need to ensure your fleet is in top notch condition so they are safe for your drivers to use on the road. However, Once you take your vehicle in for maintenance, you could be waiting three weeks, four weeks, six weeks, or even longer to get your vehicle back. This could prove to be a huge constraint on your business. Therefore, we purchased a Mako franchise to alleviate that and control the speed at which we can maintain our vehicles and control the maintenance costs. There are other DSPs that I know who purchased car washes, drug testing centers, tire shops, all in an effort to maximize profitability and control as much of their supply chain as they possibly could. Amazon itself did the same as well. DSP program was Amazon's response to the challenges of relying heavily on external carriers like UPS, USPS, and even FedEx. To gain more control and efficiency in their delivery network, Amazon established the Delivery Service Partner Program. The move allowed Amazon to manage its last mile delivery phase, ensuring timely deliveries and reducing costs. For entrepreneurs like me, becoming a DSP owner meant being a crucial part of Amazon's strategic vision while building a thriving cash flow positive business in the process. Point is, controlling a crucial part of your business supply chain, like having my own fleet, my own repair shops, etc., made me more profitable. It's not just for Amazon DSPs. Many businesses employ this strategy. For example, Apple uses vertical integration as a strategic approach to control various aspects of its business. Apple owns and manages its manufacturing process. It also develops its own operating system and it operates its own chain of retail store. This comprehensive strategy allows Apple to have a direct hand in designing, producing, and delivering its product, contributing to its success and delivering high quality, cohesive, and user-friendly technology experiences. When I started my Amazon DSP business back in March of 2019, I believe, we quickly became profitable by executing as many routes as possible in our area. Fast forward six months, my husband was selected to join the DSP program. Now we were running two separate DSP businesses and reaping the benefits of operating them together. This expansion allowed us to achieve synergies, a powerful force in boosting profitability. We consolidated HR functions, management tasks, vehicle maintenance functions. Imagine it like having two stores on the same street. You can share the costs and resources, making both businesses stronger. Synergies meant for us efficiency, and efficiency meant more money in our pockets. 
those synergies played a crucial role in boosting our overall profitability. As you operate your business, look to identify areas of your businesses that cause you pain and grief or any types of constraint and look for ways to relieve that constraint by taking it over and controlling it yourself. I am a part owner in a company that imports acai fruits and sell it to different diners, restaurants, and supermarkets. Our biggest constraint was always not having enough acai to sell because of limitations of the factory from which we imported those fruits from. So what was our solution to this? We went overseas, we set up our own factory, we sourced our own acai fruits directly from the Amazon rainforest. So there you have it. That was my journey to building my $10 million Amazon DSP business. Vertical integration was the key to my success. Remember, this isn't just a strategy for Amazon DSP. These principles can be applied to many businesses to increase profitability. Whether you're running a delivery service business, a bakery, or any other venture, consider taking control of key aspects and expanding strategically. It's about being the captain of your own ship and navigating towards success. If you're considering the Amazon DSP program, remember every opportunity has its downsides. So be sure to watch my Amazon DSP pros and cons video to learn more. Until next time.